Every so often, there's some pretty intense internet drama. And with internet drama, there are always takes. And a lot of those takes are bad takes. But every so often, things get sidelined. Something will go viral for maybe a second or two before the next big multi-day long internet fascination takes place. Just realize the fan was on for all of that and I'm gonna freak out. This particular YouTube video, or not YouTube video, god damn it, I'm so bad at this. This particular Twitter video had its heyday for maybe half a day. The very next thing that caught on after this video made the rounds was the Titan submersible, and that became the talking point. And people didn't really do a deep dive on these guys. And if you guys are not familiar, let's hear these guys out for their supposedly insane Spider-Verse take. I know you don't watch Instant Spider-Verse, but no, I want to no, say Jesus this for everybody. Christ, that. man. Right, right off the get-go. Dude is like so passionate about Spider-Verse. He's knocking shit down. I know you don't watch Instant Spider-Verse, but he I really want to see- He threw his fucking phone down. He's like, we're talking about Spider-Verse. I fucking think it was mid. I need you guys to know I think it was mid. That shit was not a 10 out of 10. I don't know what everybody's saying. <laughs> Everybody was hyping it up to me. Oh no. Oh God, guys, I have to fucking, I have to stop. I have to immediately stop talking shit on these guys. We both have fucking Akira posters right behind us. Like same angle. Same fucking egg. I have to take that down. I have to move that. No, no. Oh, my credibility. No. It's a good movie. Broken clock right twice a day. Yeah. Let's just get back into it. 10 out of 10. Best Spider-Man movie ever made. I disagree. It should have been a 10 out of 10 for me. I feel like they catered it towards the kids that have no attention span. Oh, really? So it was... Like, yeah, there was storyline, but the storyline was so it's hard to pay attention because there's so much going on. I don't even think that's a, a crazy take. I don't even necessarily disagree with it. I feel like there are a lot of, you know, uh, moving. What do, you, what do you call that? There's a lot of factors, a lot of moving balls, moving parts. Balls on the brain, Andy over here. But there are a lot of moving parts in Across the Spider-Verse. And I feel like it does sort of convolute the story a little bit, but it's not necessarily hard to keep track of. I just feel like they introduce like way too much. I don't even think what this guy is saying here is necessarily totally unreasonable, which is going to be in stark contrast to the next thing you're going to hear. The animation was amazing. It's 11 out of 10 animation. Don't get me wrong. I already knew it wasn't going to be a top Spider-Man because it was cartoon style. No, like but actually what's crazy. Uh, what, dude? What? Run that. Let me hear that shit again. Let me hear that bullshit again. I already knew it wasn't going to be a top Spider-Man because it was cartoon style. Because it was cartoon style. A crazy way to refer to animation. Cartoon style. Cartoon style? Do you mean what the, the style that Spider-Man originated in? Do you mean the, the style that Spider-Man media is predominantly produced in? That is Spider-Man style. What are you talking about? When I tell you, this is only the tip of the iceberg with these, with these gentlemen and, and some of the takes that they have. It gets worse because i have seen them before this just so happened to pop up on my twitter timeline and i was like oh my fucking god it's these guys again i know them from other tiktoks because these guys have some pretty elaborate theories about secrets of the universe and how they tie back to uh andrew tate or donald trump there's a prophecy about two people that will signal the end of days. The Bible predicts that two witnesses will be released into the earth. They're the able to shoot, shoot fire out, out of their, their mouths. mouths. Every time they say, yo, there's this thing that signals the end of days. It's like, uh, citation needed, citation needed, citation needed. Don't mean to be the uh, nerd react emoji here about this, but um, hey, like what? Where, where are you? getting this god told me that this is true that's my citation With they're the able to shoot, shoot fire, fire out, out their mouths. mouths if we look at the disasters that have been going on from viruses to earthquakes and if we look at the most influential people this in the is current scary bro age, the question the we should be asking ourselves is think about it we're two people yeah. you saw the picture two people and oh, a ministry like a cult uh -huh. so big so much power so much influence i could maybe hear a parallel to andrew tate who is the second guy is it Tristan Tate? And if we look at the most influential people this in the current scary. Day, Who is that? As somebody who has watched plenty of material regarding Andrew Tate, regarding the manosphere, listening and watching to other commentators talk about this stuff, this is the most pervasive that this content has ever been, like toxic masculine content. I don't know who that fucker is. Is that Tristan Tate? He cannot be one of the most influential people in the world if he's so outshined by Andrew Tate. There, You have to have someone at Andrew Tate level. And if his brother isn't at that level, I don't think they're both 
prophets. They're both messiahs, right? Because one definitely steals the show. Go about it. We're two people. Yeah. You saw the picture? Two people. And oh, a guess. ministry, like a cult, <clears throat> so big, so much power, so much influence. Yeah. You can make that parallel to like any podcast with two people who are two people they have like a following they have like a ministry they have like a cult cody co and noelle miller tmg podcast they kind of market it as a culty thing too jared leto and uh whoever else is in uh 30 seconds to mars it doesn't matter if they both have to be famous one of them has to be famous as as evidenced by uh the tape brothers joe rogan and jamie two two guys with a podcast jamie jamie I don't know what Jamie does. I don't fucking watch Joe Rogan. But like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, plenty of people, man. Zelensky and fucking vice president of Ukraine. I don't know. If Biden could shoot fire from his mouth, he'd probably forget how to do it a few seconds after he got that ability. <laughs> Remember, shoot fire out their mouth. I'm like, that's weird, right? But the Bible always does that. The Bible always like exaggerates something. Shooting fire in your mouth, that's like speaking and using your voice oh, to cause oh, fire, oh. bro. I, I like that they made it more complicated than it needed to be. Shooting fire from your mouth. Easily, you could have made the 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 connection there. Like dudes who spit fire, like Andrew Tate. But no, like went all the fucking way around. It, it, it like makes it seem like he's grasping at straws hard than he even needs to be. I feel like you can make a, like a good case there for like uh, Tate being a fucking messiah by being a guy who shoots fire from his mouth because he spits fire. To fucking make it such like a weird workaround like shooting fire doesn't actually mean uh, spitting fire. It means talking that causes fire it catches like fire and it spreads like wild and i feel no man like fucking you, you 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 are making it more complicated than it needs to be i should be the conspiracy theorist because you guys aren't good at this i can close the loops i can i can advocate for fewer degrees of separation to make you guys sound not crazy QAnon, hire me put me on your payroll it catches and burns oh fuck <laughs> the fuck was the sickle boat at the end what was that there's it gets worse don't worry if that doesn't doesn't already sound unhinged it gets worse there's a theory that donald trump's son is a time traveler there's proof there's a book that came out it's yeah. called the last president in the book the main character his name is baron he has a mentor and he teaches him about time travel his mentor is named don donald trump's son <laughs> is named baron trump let's let's just Fact check this real quick, okay? If this reminds you of attitudes after the 2016 Trump presidential win, you are not alone during 2017. This book, as well as Lockwood's two children, the travels and adventures of little Baron Trump and his wonderful dog, Bulger, and Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey drew attention due to its uncanny connection to President Trump and his family. Does this book foresee Donald Trump as the last president of a republic as we know it? Uh, is this a bizarre coincidence or prophetic? Let the reader decide. Oh, hey, Google, that's really irresponsible. Uh, don't market uh, some some QAnon conspiracy New World Order bullshit uh, as prophetic. You should market it as, damn, that's kind of, that's a weird coincidence. Yeah, that is that is true. This book is real, does exist, and those characters are named the way that they are, and it is a little uncanny. Donald Trump's great-grandfather, he was part of the FBI team that confiscated and took all of Nikola Tesla's inventions, blueprints, and wiped his whole house. Obviously, there was rumors all the time about he was onto some next technology with yeah, frequency yeah. and maybe even time travel. So, the, the biggest, the biggest leap. All of those credible claims, all these credible claims of that like can be easily fact checked. But then just like major, major, major conjecture to be like, oh, but Nikola Tesla was fucking, uh, he actually had the secrets to time travel. So Donald Trump is a time travel. Like that's such a... Dude, like, wh where where are you getting this? Where where is that coming from? So it's called found, the Last President. So they found this book. No, this book has been published long time ago. Oh. It's just weird that it matches up. It's such a crazy cut. Such a crazy cut. So it's they called they the found, Last President. So they found this book. No, this book has been published long time ago. Oh. It's just weird that it matches <gasps> up. So, oh, so they found this book? No, it's actually been published. Oh. It's up, and it's called the Last President. You could say the new president. He's kind of people are saying like he's a robot yeah, or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't seem like he's all there no, trump's been like too calm since he got voted out
about the office. It's like he knows like he's gonna be back. No, yeah. It it is like positive reinforcement. That is that what it is, or like wishful thinking to like the nth degree to be like, okay, uh, how about the claim that uh Donald Trump wasn't the last president and that fucking Joe Biden is currently president? Oh uh, well, actually, it's because he's like not really all there, so it doesn't actually count even. Dog. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. And that's gotta be fucking hilarious. And also really sad if Ron DeSantis becomes president. God, I fucking hope that doesn't happen. Then this whole last president bullshit then we like know is fake. I mean, we know it's fake right now because we're like, we're normal people and we don't fall for uh, conspiracy theory bullshit like this and can think rationally and reasonably. At least I hope you do. Seek help if you don't. Seek help if you believe any of this bullshit. It's not real. The thing is, all this stuff is predicated on like, some real details, some real connections. Like, it, like the best lies are always they like, have a little bit of truth in there, right? Not even conspiracy theorists, just like just fucking delusions of grandeur have some semblance of like groundedness because there has to be. There has to be like there has to be something this could be attached to. He's on live television. His first line was like, "I <laughs> killed my buried them. and I buried her in the dirt." dirt. Mm. And everyone behind him was like. Wait, what, what did he say? say? His neighbors also chimed in. Mm. They said, I seen Robert one day walk out of his house yeah. with a body bag. They find his car and in his car is a Guy oh no! And in this, and then, and in his car is the dead fucking wife. Is the is the hot fire that this guy was spitting? See that guy? That guy had some bars. That guy had some bars. Let's hear it again about killing his wife. You know when you spit hot fire about killing your wife? He's on live television. His first line was like, "I <laughs> killed my very death and I buried her in the dirt." Mm. I don't know, guys. I mean, guy was spitting fire. He might be the next messiah. Did you know Miles Morales and his dad? Yeah. They popped up in another movie. That oh, give me a fucking break! Come on. On, guys we are really not doing these characters are related or these characters are the same because they're black and because everybody in you know in a different movie if it, unless they're white they're not related but if they're black they're, not only are they related they're actually the same come but like come on like are we re are we still really fucking doing this this like they're the same because they're black and he's a cop and there, there's never two good black cops in existence in media. Not only were they in the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, but also in uh, Across the Spider-Verse. You know that machine the scientist was using? When the portal opened up and like dragged everything in, that same machine was in it. What? Yeah. No. That's a long time ago though. So they've been planning it? I don't know. This is just like maybe a callback to it. Yeah, more than likely if there is like the, the machine from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs shows up in Across the Spider-Verse. Garen fucking T you, dude. It is just an easy Easter egg and just a callback, a throwback to be like the animators or whoever's like, because it's all Sony, because that's another thing. This is all also uh, Sony animated films, both of them. It's like, hey, remember when we did Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? No, that's another Sony animated uh, film that was produced by the by Lord and Miller. Fucking let's put it in this one too. A black kid having a black cop father. That is not like, Miles was in uh, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs the whole time and we didn't even see it. Dog, you're embarrassing yourself, man. That's not, that's not real. Get real. Do you remember these characters, bro? <laughs> Stop. Yo! Stop. Yo! No. So this is Miles Morales and his father. Guys, can you check their fucking names? Can you check their, like, just go to IMDB and check these characters' names? Because I don't think that there is a credited character in Claudia the Chance of Meatballs named Miles Morales. So he didn't age? No, he got older. We talking about? Oh, he got older? Also, if you look at- <laughs> Oh, he aged? No, he got older. No, uh, these are different characters. This is not the same. You guys are looking at a, a different move. This is a different movie, actually, guys. This is a- this is a different film. Everything that they've done about his test, it says that he aged 10 years younger. What? Yeah. Like all his wrinkles were gone or some shit? His what body. The f is so this my fucking stream? Why do they have the fucking sicko mode sound effect play just nonsensically? It says that he aged 10 years younger. Okay, yeah, you're like, not fucking I'll helping when you actually play the sickle mods, dude. Shut up. I think I have to fucking stop. People are I, people are begging me to stop, and and I am losing brain cells looking at this because like I like this feels like I'm I'm back in like like fresh out of high school, and you're like, oh hey, that one kid who is like funny from math class. Oh no, I go to his Facebook and he's just posting about the uh the immigrant caravan and like is like a total MAGA head. Oh damn, this sucks. That's like a real downer. It, like that's what that feels 
feels like as a podcast. It feels like those guys from high school that you like remember in passing. You're like, oh, they were cool, and then they like turn out crazy after the fact too. And and you're just, you just have to like reconcile with that. It feels like you turned those people into into podcasters. How can we be already repackaging boomer shit like boomer Facebook shit? For Gen Z, for for TikTok, man, this we're cooked. Adios, bitches.